Hello, I'm Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of the Doctor Wu Prime Sword. And I forget exactly which version they called this, but it is the Gold Sword. And this one is actually rather cool. Um, I don't actually think this one has a specific number. Well, yes, it's TP05. Looking at the little envelope here. Dr. Wu, TP05. Prime Sword. Anyway, it's awesome. Uh, I actually ordered this uh, several weeks ago. Um, they didn't have any of the other colors. This is the only one Big Bad Toy Store had. And it wasn't even had, it was a pre-order. And honestly, the only reason I bought it was it was gold. I'm really a sucker for the gold colored painted stuff. Um, look at me in the uh, Legos. Every gold Lego action figure Bionicle Hero Factory thing I tend to buy. Anyway, this sword is downright awesome. It's based right out of the concept art in Transformers The Vault, which was also revealed at BotCon 2010. Happened to be a BotCon I was at. The only BotCon I was at. Anyway. Um, honestly, when I ordered this, I expected it to be a hunk of plastic with uh, gold chrome paint and this jewel glued onto it. And I was pleasantly surprised when I watched a review after I ordered it. Ow. This is completely die-cast metal. And it is actually quite heavy. Um, the way they packaged it was kind of odd. Well, first off... I get a box on my doorstep that's like the size of almost a case of Transformer Deluxe Class from Hasbro. Open that up, there's a bunch of bubble wrap and a packing slip. I'm like, okay, where's the thing? Open up the bubble wrap, go through it very carefully, and find a bag. Well, yay big. With a sticker over it in foreign language. Tear open the sticker inside the clear plastic bag. is another clear plastic bag. Open that. And in that bag, you have this bag, and you have this. Um, inside this bag was the sword. And then inside this was just nothing. It's this little envelope sword thingy. Um, kind of holds the sword. I'm keeping it flat just because it's easier to store. And this thing will be in Optimus Prime's hand most of the time. Overall, very good blade. It fits perfectly with Classics Prime. Or the Fans Project Hot Rod set, or the Rodimus Prime set, because it's kind of got that whole gold Rodimus Prime vibe to it. Um, yeah, so basically I got it to actually have a Star Saber. Uh, I think I prefer the gold with the blue gem, even though orange technically goes better with gold. Simply because it would match the Matrix a little bit better. Um, speaking of the Matrix... In the concept art, the Matrix is part of the hilt, which they actually included in this really well. You can actually see the edges of the handles there for the Matrix. It's actually part of the hilt. That's just downright cool. This sword is just downright awesome. Uh, I paid $15 for it, um, plus about $5 in shipping, so I paid almost 20 bucks. $21 for this sword. Having fun with refractive surfaces. Ooh, shiny object. So yes, I uh, highly recommend any version of this sword. It's very cool. I mean, some of them, this one's all single color, but some of them have a slightly different uh, hilt, like it's painted in a more flat, where this is more metallic. Or this is more metallic and this is more uh, completely reflective. Um, this one's all reflective. I personally don't care. I think it's amazing. And I like the gold color. Um, yeah, just me. I think a Star Saber should be gold or blue. Not particularly silver. That's just my opinion. Um, I do like the Transformers Prime version too. Um, I think that's nice. But um, this sword is amazing, and I totally 100% recommend it if you have the spare cash on hand. Because this is just downright amazing. 
Um, that pretty much concludes my video review of this. If you have any questions about it, please post a comment down below. Uh, if you have any requests for video reviews, post a comment down below. Uh, if you would like to see what I have, you can watch my collection video, which is up on currently still up on my uh, YouTube channel, or you can search it, or it's probably linked to the side or something. I don't know. It appears at random intervals. So that uh, once again concludes my video review. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.